Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the solution of this problem. In this problem, we are given a graph with n vertices numbered from 1 to n and m edges. The task is to find the maximum flow from vertex 1 to vertex n. This means that 1 would act as the source and n would act as the sink. What do I mean by this? Source would have only outgoing edges and no incoming edges and sink would have only incoming edges and no outgoing edges. In a flow network, the maximum flow of a path cannot exceed the flow capacity. Okay, this is just a disclaimer kind of thing. Now, let us try to solve the first sample test case where you would get a proper idea. In this, we would be used using the algorithm known as plot percussion algorithm. So, we have a edge from 1 to 2 with a flow of 1. Then we have an edge from 3 to 2 with a flow of 2. Then we have an edge from 4 to 2 with a flow of 3. Then we have an edge from 2 to 5 with a flow of 5 itself. Now let us see that if we want to go from 1 to 5, what are the available paths? There is only one available path that is this. Now talking that is this one. Okay. Now we need to iterate over this. First we need to find all the available paths. This is the available path. Then we need to find the bottleneck capacity. So bottleneck capacity would be the minimum capacity on that path. The minimum capacity is 1 here. Okay. So what we would do is we would find 1 and then we would add in the sink. This would be the sink and this would be the source itself. Okay. The source itself. Then we would add the value in the sink itself. That is 1. So the value at the end is 1 itself. Then moving forward, the second sample test case. This would be more clear. Okay. So we have an edge from 1 to 2 with a capacity of 8. Then we have an edge from 1 to 3 with a capacity of 10. Then we have an edge from 4 to 2 with a capacity of 2. Then we have an edge from 3 to 4 with a capacity of 3 itself. Then moving forward, if we want to go from 1 to 4, this is source and this is sink. If we want to go from this, what are the available path? The available path are this and this. Let's first go with this. So the, so the bottleneck capacity is 8 and 2. The minimum of them is 2 itself. Okay. So what we do is we write here 2, we write here 2. So we add the flow now. So the minimum is 2. Now the next thing what needs to be done is we find the residual capacity that is capacity minus this 8 minus 2 is equals to 6 2 minus 2 is equals to 0 whichever value boils down to the 0 we would block that okay we would block that next path should be taken but this should, this edge shouldn't be taken into consideration okay so we have no path that is not taking into consideration to this Okay, then we come to this. The bottleneck capacity of this is 3, 3. So that is 2 plus 3. 3 minus 3 is equals to 0, and this is equals to 7 residual capacity. So we would jam up this. If we jam up this, then the total capacity is equals to 5. That this is the value itself. So now the problem has boiled down to a very easy thing. We just need to find all the possible path. Finding all the possible path, there are two traversal in an undirected graph. We can do either DFS or BFS, the most simple thing. Okay. Now the next thing is that we find all that and then we find the minimum one. Okay. We find the minimum one. Whichever value residual capacity is zero, we remove that. Next, we would do that. Now the implementation is absolutely very lengthy and it would take an hour to implement. So I would show you a pre-implemented code and explain you. Now in this problem, 
what we are doing is we are trying to have a matrix here. So we have two list re graph representation. What is adjacency list representation? One is adjacency matrix representation. But here we rapidly want the traversal of that. If we want there is the edge between one and five or not, we need to it go on one and we need to see if five is present or not. But if there is a matrix representation, then we would go to one five and we would see if there is a value or not. If we have a value, that means there is an edge. That is why we are making everything as zero initially. Okay. Then what we are doing? We are subtracting. 1 that is we are making it 0 index it is 1 index we are making it 0 weight would remain the same then we are just adding the weight itself and then we are going to plot full cursion algorithm let us see what we are doing at this point we are having the parent why we are having the parent suppose we want the path so if you want the path what needs to be done is suppose i uh, suppose my friend comes to me and i would say that go to my father now my father would say that go to my father this is kind of the child parent relation child would tell to go to his father and he would tell to go to his father and this is how we traverse or keep a path itself then we are doing a simple bfs Df, bfs and dfs both can work but here we are doing a CF bfs and this is the source itself that is given source would be one source would be here zero that is why we are passing the source as zero plot full cursion algorithm source as zero and it is an n minus one because we have converted everything to uh, zero indexing and then what we are doing is we are first doing a BFS and then we are finding out the minimum one and then we are adding the minimum. But how we are doing that? Let us see that also. What we are doing, we are doing simple BFS. First, we are filling the parent one with minus one. That is, we would say that I have no parent. I have no parent. My friend has no parent. First, this thing. Then we contain a Boolean of visitor, vector of Boolean. Then we need a Q for the BFS thing. Then everything else is absolutely same. Okay, everything else is absolutely same. We take out the minimum, whatever is the minimum, and we return the minimum at the end. Okay, then we need go down, and then if the minimum capacity we find out, and then we add it to the value, and this rest would be the one we are returning. Yes, that is it. And then we are finding the sink itself. If sink is not equal to source, we would go down and we would subtract and then add. Okay, so two and five would get subtracted, but five and two would get added. Okay, this is what we are doing. So that's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day. If you face any difficulty regarding this, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you.